My dad passed away recently, and he left me 26 male and my sister 31 his house. It's super unkempt, so I've been doing lots of yard work outside in the mornings. I'm out there watering the grass in the mornings and evenings. Every time I've done this, the neighbor next door who's like this older granny comes out to her porch and straight up watches me without even hiding it. I introduced myself to her once and told her my sister and I were the new owners after my dad passed, but she obviously didn't want to talk. Next, she started coming outside with her phone, pointing the camera at me. I'm like, is there a problem? She says, there's no problem as long as I do what I'm supposed to. I asked her why she was recording me then. Neighbor lady goes, what's the problem with me recording if you're not doing anything wrong? It's so weird, I didn't even know how to respond to the situation. Soon as I finished up to go back inside, she went back to her house too. This happens every single day. I'm outside watering the grass. Always the same excuse, that she wants to make sure I'm not doing anything else. Or if I do, it's on camera. So yesterday, I got fed up and decided to do something different. So when she came out with her phone, I stuck my butt out and put my hand on my hip, looking right at her. At first she was like, what? But then she got really mad when I started wetting myself with the water hose and touching my neck while looking directly at her. Was it stupid? Yes. But she put her phone away and started cussing me out for being a creep. Later on, my sister told me that she came to the house when I was at work, talking about me harassing her and making poses in provocative ways. Of course, my sister knows she's a pain in the butt, since she probably has nothing better to do with her time. But I still shouldn't have stooped to her level, making her uncomfortable right back. I feel like I'm right on this one, and it wasn't even that bad. But I also can be a dumb idiot sometimes. So I don't know. You guys tell me. Was I an idiot? This is the best thing I've read in a while. Resounding, not the idiot. Call her a creep right back for filming it. She really needs to start minding her own business, like the rest of us do. Houses change owners. There's nothing wrong or weird about that. Drenching yourself with a hose while working in the garden sounds terrible. Do put on a show. Give that granny some evening watching material. Keep it legal, but go all out otherwise. I would have straight out asked her if she was aware that she was harassing the house's new owner. Also, if you were on your private property, does she have a right to film you? You're not out in public. Seriously, who does she think she is? Saying there's no problem as long as I'm doing what I'm supposed to. What exactly are you supposed to be doing on your property by your house? I'm not even kidding. If she used the words, you're harassing her, you should probably file a complaint against her preemptively for harassment to get it on record. Literally hilarious and completely justified. I love it. But next time, call the cops and report her for recording you without your permission and find out how much a six-foot stock fence the entire length of the property line on her side would be and privacy bushes that get really, really tall. My girlfriend and I have been together for almost three years. Gifts have been sort of a sore spot, at least for me. So the first year we were together, she made me some cake things for my birthday, which was nice and everything, but then she took like half of them back to give to her family. So it just seems kind of weird, like, here's your present, but I'm taking part of it back. Then her birthday came that year and I did a bunch of stuff for her, got her balloons, flowers, a card, and some gifts. Christmas came and I gave her a few gifts, but didn't get anything. Following birthday of mine, nothing. I got her a gift for her birthday that year, but I didn't go all out like the first year. Last Christmas, she wanted seat covers for her car. I bought them, but wanted to see if she even gave me a card or anything, which she didn't. We went to lunch a few days after Christmas because she kept insisting on coming over. I felt like I had to give them to her since they were still wrapped and sitting in my living room, but that was the last straw with me and gifts with her. My birthday came and the same thing, nothing. So in almost three years of birthdays and Christmases, I got half a gift. I've tried talking to her about it, but she just claims she forgot or has so many other people to shop for Christmas, etc. She was dropping hints before her birthday for different stuff, so I knew what she wanted. I just didn't want to buy it. Her birthday came and I didn't get her anything. I figured why should I keep putting in the effort and buy gifts for someone who can't be bothered to make me a card. It's not a financial thing either, 
because we both make about the same amount. And as I said, I'd appreciate a homemade card that she drew or something. So we went out to celebrate on Saturday. She kept saying she was excited to get her gift. So I took her out to dinner, then she wanted to come over. So she came over to my house. She kept looking around for a while, then said, okay, I'm ready to open my gift. I said, what gift? She said, ha ha, seriously now, it's my birthday. I said, I know. She said, quit messing around. I said, I'm not messing around. I really didn't get you anything. She said, then why did I come over? I said, I don't know. You wanted to. She said, you really didn't get me even a card? I said, no. I just figured we're not doing gifts anymore. I mean, you don't give them, so... She gave her usual excuses. You're hard to shop for. I'm not. I tell her what I'd like, and some stuff is only five to ten bucks. Well, I forgot. And a few other things. Then she said... It shouldn't be about receiving, it's about giving. But thanks for being a passive-aggressive idiot and ruining my birthday. Am I the idiot for not getting my girlfriend a birthday present? Not the idiot. She is absolutely right. Gifts are about giving as much as receiving. She didn't give you anything for three years because she wasn't valuing you enough to care. It's sad, but I don't see you both having a future if her love language is asking and receiving and never giving. Maybe you should reconsider the relationship if she can't put in the minimum effort to get her boyfriend's gifts for these occasions. Perhaps she just felt she didn't need to get you gifts because she was dating you. How did she fail to see the obvious hypocrisy here? Is she the person who expects to be pampered or have things paid for? What a gold digger you got. Girlfriend sounds like my ex-boyfriend who was clinically diagnosed with a narcissistic personality disorder. He'd expect a big to-do for his birthday, but suddenly he didn't think birthdays were important when other people's birthdays would roll around. OP, not the idiot, and you can very likely do better than someone who probably never thinks about you beyond what you can do for her. I usually roll my eyes when every single answer is, break up with this person. Now here I am saying it to you, but seriously, break up with her. She can't give you one gift in three years? and you ruined her birthday by not giving her one? No, ma'am. The relationship is all about her. Bail. Now. My fiancé, Henry, and I had our first child, Dom, two months old. The first month was very complicated, with many sleepless nights and stress. Nothing unusual. Now Dom is sleeping a little more, but we still wake up at night. Last Wednesday, Henry asked if about three of his friends could come over on Friday for them to play and he could be free of responsibility for about two to three hours. I thought it was a reasonable request because I had already asked him for the same once, and he was fine. As I know, it can get noisy, so I visited my mother with the baby and had dinner with her. When it was time, I came back. They were still there, and my fiancé pulled me aside, saying they were having fun, and asked if they could stay another hour. I reluctantly accepted. The noise wasn't too bad, less competitive game. I put my son to sleep after 30 minutes, and I went to bed myself. After two hours, I, a heavy sleeper, woke up, and right after that, Dom woke up. I went into the living room where they were, and I gave Henry a hard look, and he asked for another 30 minutes. I accepted. I was too tired to think straight. It took longer to get Dom to sleep. He even needed a bottle. I went back to sleep. I didn't even see if they were gone, and I woke up again with noise and it was almost 2 a.m. Keep in mind that I went to dinner with my mother at 8 p.m., just like Dom, who was already stressed since that first time. I stormed out of the room and kind of screamed, asking if they knew what time it was, and they started laughing. I told everyone it was time for them to leave, and they all, and my fiancé, started saying that another hour wouldn't kill me, and that Henry deserved a break from being a father. I don't know if my fiancé was intoxicated, but he kept nodding, saying he was having fun. After that, they started pressuring me to stop being annoying. That's where the part that maybe I'm the idiot begins. I was very annoyed with everyone. I opened the living room door, main door, and sat out loud for everyone to leave. Everyone was embarrassed, and Henry was super embarrassed. So then he tried to retort me, and I completed by saying that since he wanted to spend time with his friends so much, he could sleep with them tonight. Everyone left, my fiancé too, and I finally had a night's rest after putting my baby to sleep. 
I got a lot of messages from everyone that I was disrespectful to kick them out of the house. Henry said he had asked for a few hours to rest, and I didn't know how to respect his request, besides humiliating him in front of his friends. It's clear that some clueless people need to kick rocks, but I would like an opinion. Am I the idiot? Not the idiot. You agreed to two to three hours, gracefully consented to an extension, and it went six hours before you blew up at them. If Henry wants to play into the wee hours with his buddies, he can do it at their place once in a while, but not where an infant is sleeping. Also, there's no such thing as taking a break from being a father, and Henry needs to understand that now. I wonder how many of his bros have babies at home and still have the audacity to act this way? Furthermore, if they do, Henry can hop his happy butt over to their house and be loud at 2 a.m. and see if their partners don't kick them out too. You do not just take a break from being a father. If you need it, you shouldn't be a father in the first place. Never mind that he's acting like this and the child hasn't even been around that long. If he's already acting like this so early, I wonder about how he might act when it gets more challenging because it will get more challenging. Parenting is hard. If he isn't ready to step up and leave his childish lifestyle behind, then you need to leave him behind. Your child is your number one priority and maybe don't marry your man-child fiancé. Before anybody in my husband's family gets married, they ask the grandparents for their approval or permission. If they say no, the marriage usually doesn't happen. The only time a no still led to a marriage was when my husband's parents married. Fitting into my husband's family was extremely difficult initially. The only reason I got a yes was that I was already pregnant when my husband introduced me to everyone. My friend is dating my husband's cousin and has been for longer than I've been with my husband. This trip was the first time she met the family officially though. I was with her while she was packing and I noticed she was packing revealing outfits and nothing more toned down. So I tried to hint to her to pack some of her more conservative and nicer outfits because I know how some of my in-laws can be and I know how much is riding on this trip for her. She wasn't getting my hints and eventually... When she asked me what I thought of a dress she was packing, I told her I didn't think the clothes she was packing were appropriate and that it wasn't going to win their approval, which is what she wants. She got angry at me for trying to dictate what she could wear and told me that since they said yes to me after I showed up already knocked up, they would say yes to her. So she kicked me out and things were highly awkward between us since she was still angry at me during the flight. We're currently in the middle of the trip which has been a disaster. But was I the idiot for saying the clothes weren't appropriate? Not the idiot. She went on this trip with a purpose to win them over, and she brought you into that. You were only doing your part as her friend. She seems to have missed the memo that the point of this trip was to win over the older folk. Out of curiosity, how do they like her? Their grandfather said no on the first day, and her boyfriend's parents have been frosty towards her. Some other relatives have been nicer though, so it's a mixed bag. If the man won't marry her just because of some awful controlling old relative says no, she's better off without him. So the only people in that family with a working backbone are your in-laws? Honestly, I wouldn't wish a friend of mine to be in that horrible family. You, people, do know that you don't need their permission, right? You can go no contact and be done with their old flaky butts. You are the idiot because you are one when you support an abuser. Disagree. OP is not the idiot. You weren't dictating what she wears. You advised what kind of clothing a target audience would approve of. You would have been an idiot if you let your friend pack without bothering to say anything. Real friends look out for one another. What? Why should she or you put up with this? And really confused that you need grandparents' approvals? Next, they'll be checking the sheets. Have we gone back in time? All the advances and rights in the world, and we're still resorting to getting approval like this? If you have children, is this what their future will be like? And if so, do you find this acceptable? Hopefully your answer is no. You are the idiot as I would be trying to break them up and as a real friend, savor the heartache. My mom is a social media victim and has to post everything. My wife had one request about her wedding, other than the bridal party, no one was to see the wedding dress. My mom kept trying to get my wife to post it for her friends on Facebook because she said everyone wanted her to do it. 
She was mad that she didn't even get to post pictures of my wife trying on a different wedding dress and at least allowed her to post the rejects. My wife said no, and my mom was angry. Later, when the mom and bridesmaids picked out their dresses, my mom insisted on wearing white. So my wife said, screw this, and put the whole wedding party in white, including the mothers and grandmothers. On the wedding day, my mom took a candid shot of my wife getting her veil ready and posted it about 30 minutes before the wedding started, tagging everyone in it, including the bride's father, my father-in-law, my wife wanted to surprise him just as much as me, getting the first look at the dress while he walked her down the aisle. She even had the two photographers ready so they could get the shots of the first look. This was important to my wife. Her dad saw himself tagged in the photo, so he saw his daughter on Facebook. Fortunately, my wife didn't find out until after the ceremony because of the last-minute preparation. After the ceremony, I kicked my mom out of the wedding and she wasn't invited to the party. My younger sister and my dad also left, along with a few family members. My brother and I covered for the mother of the groom dance by leading an impromptu chicken dance to lighten the mood. The DJ was super awesome and filled in the spaces with fun songs, so at least the party wasn't a total bummer. I really don't even want my mom in my life now because what she did was petty and selfish, so I have no interest in continuing a relationship with my mom. My dad thinks I should put this behind me because it's typical women's drama. But I told him it wasn't, and mom's just petty, and what she does is not normal at all. So am I the idiot? Not the idiot. It was a simple request, and she couldn't honor it. You're starting your marriage right, establishing that your wife is your priority over your mother. It takes guts to stand up to your family, and you handled it very well. Also, what is this typical woman drama? What nonsense is dad talking about? Your mom insisted on wearing white to a Western wedding. Ask yourself, why is that? Everyone knows only the bride is allowed to wear white. So what was your mom trying to accomplish? Is she jealous of your wife and couldn't stand her being the center of attention? Did your mom want the attention on her in general? And then she disrespected the bride's biggest wish for a wedding day and isn't even sorry? Your dad is entirely wrong. Your mom doesn't even like your wife and isn't afraid to show it. The petty slights and jabs are apparent all over. Good on you for standing up for your wife. Don't back down over this. Your mom tried to sabotage one of the most important days of your wife's life and yours, obviously.